hi scorpio welcome to my channel scorpio i hope you are doing well scorpio i hope you are here you're here <laughs> this reading for today it is for the scorpio sign thank you so much scorpio for supporting the channel thank you so much scorpio for being here if you would like to further connect with me scorpio you have a two of cups let us see what is the guided message for this copy sign, please. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? What's the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Wow. Oh my gosh. All of the romantic um, cards, they all came out. You've got the Two of Cups. You've got the Lover's card. Okay. Yeah. The Six of Swords. Um, this is for the Scorpio sign. What is your guided message, Scorpio? I hope you're doing well. You've got Magician card in here. The Seven of Wands. The Eight of Cups. Okay. You've got the Temperance card. The Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Swords, Scorpio. I feel like getting one card for your overall energy, Scorpio. You have the moon card, okay. Um, I feel like Scorpio, the moon card in here. I don't think this is you. I feel so peaceful when I was shuffling the card. I feel like these are the people that is missing you, okay. Um, I feel like you're entering the next three, seven, ten days, Scorpio. It looks like it's a week or it's the time of the week or the day or the month where people start to miss you look at that there is a scorpio it looks like is it is it a lobster it looks like a scorpio to me but and it's the purple color so i would say i would say scorpio people who people who who's meant to join you who's meant to be part of the last you know quarter of 2024 they will start to show up and i'm hearing the word stop over okay so the moon card um i'm also getting scorpio that you would notice like you would be you would be noticing a lot of you would be noticing a lot of sign and synchronicity it's kind of being like telepathic Scorpio okay like um you would notice a sign and synchronicity where you were just thinking about this person and they will text you or call you or you were just about to do this and someone would invite you to do it with them so it is I would say there's something magical and I would say realignment of the things that you need to do with ex the like people that you need to do something with them to, like people that would be people that you need to be with them and experience something with them whether it's friendship family or romance you are gonna be like your people will start to remember you and will start connecting with you and they will start to connect with you first energetically and you will be rejoining because they miss you like i'm really picking up the vibe that they will start to miss you rejoin with you and whatever you need to do together you will do be doing it together okay the moon card so there's at least two person thinking about you um right now in real time so they will show up okay like you would there's something telepathic as well because it looks like a cell tower you know telepathic where you're just thinking about them and they texted you you were just you know you were watching something and it reminds you of this person and there you go they already direct message you so a lot of that will happen in the next three to seven days and we also have like the surprising eclipse i feel like the eclipse in libra in october too it is it's like the vibe i'm getting in the ether is that it's quiet but it's surprising it's like um you you don't expect the you know like it's a, it's something you underestimated but 
you underestimate this it's like this is an eclipse where it's underestimated the effect and the sound and reverberation of this eclipse is kind of big you know so just pay attention with sign synchronicity it's connected to people okay anyhow scorpio that's that's about that now let's move on um you get the lover's card you have the king of swords and now the situation is definitely connected to a soulmate and it's a king of swords okay gemini libra queries it could be you know this king of swords it could be one of those people who's thinking about you right now but this is a soulmate this is romantic if this is not a soulmate romantic this could be like family okay um the lover's card the king of swords they're thinking about you they're quiet as they think of you so the way this person is manifesting is thinking about you the other one in here scorpio is that they're telling another person that they miss you okay like this because there's two person in here okay the other one that is that's somehow thinking of you scorpio is someone who's like they're telling oh you know what i miss my scorpio i miss scorpio and this and that the other one is like the king of swords in here who's just quietly manifesting you they could be viewing you online they could they possibly have your details but they're thinking and the way this person is thinking it's logical the thinking it's logical um it's a bit slow but it's logical it's like um they don't messed up okay um there's something with the king of swords that they want to take things really seriously okay so there's someone of a soulmate or family romantic that is i feel like this king of swords will come forward or you will connect with the king of swords prior to the other one the other one the other one i think this is a friend okay because i find a very cheerful countenance like chill hey you know what where's scorpio what's happening with scorpio so it's kind of chill no drama probably a little bit of gossip but it's not really you know just not really hurtful you know just you know just being nosy okay now this one is quite serious versus the others there's a six of swords let's look at that. Ooh, that's the reason why so the king of swords is connected to family drama connected to romantic drama also this could be someone who is romantically interested with you but they're probably going through some heartache or heartbreak okay um this person is pretty serious scorpio someone of this this king of swords the way they think of you it's really serious and intense okay there's a three of swords in here let me get another one hmm i get the feeling that this king of swords scorpio the seriousness of how they think about you is i think one more please you have five because <clears throat> i was supposed to say they've given up on love or they've given up on you or they've given up on you and them but then i then i pick up the five of pentacles two of pentacles it was a time out so there was someone who's quiet and aloof this is just a time out time out they're now like they're moving on from the time out it could also be like a new ish person it could also be a new ish person you have no idea Ooh, ace of swords the five so for some of you for some of you guys it is a past person connected to romance or for some of you it could be a new ish person for some of you it could be family but it's quite heavy you have a lot of experience with this person or they're going through some experience okay because the other one the other person that i pick up in your overall vibe it's kind of like a friend now so each one of you would dip each one of you would be different but the storyline is the same is that um right now your reading is about this king of swords who um if it's a family or a past romantic 
it it seems to be they're moving on from the time out okay okay this person's like okay scorpio we had a long time out i'm moving on from that i am officially missing you and officially want to stop from moving on or sorry want want they want to stop the time out like okay and i officially missing you this time out it should stop and i should start thinking you know of how to connect again or resume again now if it's a new person when they met you when they saw you could be a new person could be an incoming person too um but if this is a new person it's already it's already part of your first to second degree it's it's like you kind of know them you might even have an idea that they have a crush on you so if this is a new person when they met you they realize oh i want to date again so they're moving on from the break up or the heartbreak okay so now magician card seven of wands ace of cups you see scorpio you have an ace of cups in here i would say this person is going to enter your life in such high spirit with the magician card and the ace of cups in here okay uh they're thinking they're strategizing whoever this person is they're serious about they ser they're serious about you okay whoever this person is they're very serious about you and they feel good and confident that i have a chance with you scorpio and the time off time out or them choosing to move on from the past is i'm in good spirit like high vibe like i'm i'm positive i could connect with you properly like you would their their high vibe or high spirit because they can make you feel that i'm sincere and i'm serious about this scorpio magician card ace of cups okay the seven of wands Ooh, look at that the seven of wands and the queen of cups they might get a resistance i mean whoever this person is it, if it's from the family you know if it's connected to family or a past lover they're expecting to get some sort of resistance from you the seven of wands the queen of cups that is why they would like to plan everything of what they will say like they're very careful with their words and they don't want to be annoying okay the last thing that this person would do is to annoy you they're careful with their words and they don't want to annoy you they would they know that they could get some resistance from you but they're prepared for that okay the last thing that they want to do is to annoy you and to make you ignore them or block them okay so they're very careful with their words and they want to really convey you in the message like they want the message to sound very sincere very charming too if this is like a new person new ish person connected to romance they don't want to sound like uh creepy or stalker ish because the eight of cups like okay they're gonna make a move if this is a new person i'm gonna make a move i'm gonna make a romantic move but i don't want to sound like um you know i'm stalking you i want to sound respectful like they want to really give you a good impression a sincere good impression that they want to avoid the eight of cups they don't want you to turn them down or they don't want to sound like oh they're like they're, they're trying hard or creepy you know with the eight of cups you have four of swords they want they want to move and converse in such a way that is it's respectful it's sincere and it's interesting especially if it's a new person if it's family or a past lover they're very very careful with their words it's kind and charming and something serious okay now that's that's the brain of this person i would say i wouldn't i wouldn't say you're convinced scorpio but i would say scorpio that you would sense how like you would you would pick it up scorpio that this is quality basically you might resist it for you, you might resist for a good one or two days not to respond not to reply maybe ignore them but you will use because it's kind of there's a there's a bit of impulse i could feel a bit of an impulse from you 
but you will listen to your because there's a look at that the temperance card okay the knight of wands the temperance card is like okay you know this is this is you like i'm kind of picking up like as soon as they made the move it's exciting and at the same time resisting because of the history if this is romantic you're excited but there's a part of you that oh i need to do my due diligence do due diligence with the temperance card the knight of wands in short you don't want to act in haste okay you also try to contain your excitement and also you want to make sure that you do your due diligence to make sure that this you know i think who whoever this person situation is scorpio your feelings will settle like your feelings intuition and logic will settle because i see you rereading it there's something there's something that you would keep on reading maybe they will follow up but eventually i see things you will feel settled and contented with letting them in at least hearing them out whoever they are because i feel like if it's, if this is a new person they would have a reference on how probably get your number or how or why they're connecting with you okay so there is a bit of resistance excitement there's a bit of i think you were just reacting normal in such a way that re resisting it due diligence and a bit excited um with the temperance card and the knight of swords in here scorpio the yeah replying high priestess oh nice very nice i love that the high priestess here scorpio because it's you're being guided knight of pentacles well this is income this incoming situation is something that you like what i said scorpio this union or incoming situation or i would say an incoming interest from a family member who would like to reconcile a lover or a new person who would like to be connected in a romantic energy like they would sh they would like to shift the conversation to romantic energy you will settle to trust them like it might like the page of pentacles i see you responding replying because you will do your due diligence you like the scorpio in you you will do your due diligence and eventually i see you giving the knight of pentacles like some sort of permission okay let's stop and you won't be disappointed scorpio okay and this is what i have for you scorpio this is your collective reading i feel like it is gonna happen very soon okay um because i'm kind of channeling the next 24 hours so keep your phone with you scorpio keep your phone close to you i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day